I have been interested in prostate cancer research for quite a long time, and I've been happy to recruit Reshma uh, initially as a PhD student to my group, and later he was also a postdoc in my group when we performed a study about the role of, of uh, simulation of, of snail one in prostate cancer. And uh, from my clinical point of view, I think it is uh, important to try to identify men that have the risk to, to develop aggressive prostate cancer because um, today we lack really good biomarkers and I think that this uh, identification of the simulation of snail one would maybe serve to, to be in future as a good biomarker for really aggressive prostate cancer. And I'm, I'm um, also, I have to say that I'm a little bit um, finding that there is a recent publication in um, Nature Cell Biology where they have identified the same license as we have done, license 234, to be important for some of the responses. So I think the findings that uh, Reshma have done here in, in this study looks to be valid. It's not only working in our hands, it also looks to be be working in, in, um, in other hands, although they found that this uh, particular license in snail, that is this important transcription factor for driving metastasis, was monoyuctinated and what we identified is a simulation of the of the protein. So when we were mainly, maybe I can just briefly tell a little bit about this project. So I was been uh, started to work with the uh, Professor Marina Landstrom group back in 2000, early 2000. So there we have investigated that the role of TGF beta signaling in post-rate cancer, and we have made an important finding that. The TGF beta receptor is cleaved and it is translocating to the nucleus and it contributes to the AMT through the expression of snail one. So there the snail one keeps an important role in the TGF beta signaling. And so we were further wanted to investigate how the downstream regulators of the snail one in this cascade. So thereby we started to this project. And we were interested to find that the TGF beta receptor itself is a target of snail one and also the HES1 is also coming in this cascade. So that made us uh, find that this, the novel site of the snail one, which is simulated, and it also gave us an opportunity to find that the snail one, it can bind to the c -June, along with the c -June, it binds to the tgf beta receptor promoter and drive its expression of tgf beta receptor 1. So that was something which was very novel and interesting to find. Yes, because before, so the TDP receptor has not been one of the EMT markers itself, but I think that the study that, that um, Reshma did together with Shyam Kumar Gudei, that, that it looks to be the case that the tumor cells are driving their own um, activation, so to say, that they, they induce snail and they also induce the TDP type 1 receptor and they also promote the expression of the of growth factors, including TD beta. And hopefully that if we could do further studies on this later on in clinical material, that we maybe could identify that this particular post-translational modification of snail one could be linked to, to aggressiveness of prostate cancer and maybe also other cancer forms. Yes, I think previously we had a uh, in our previous studies, we saw that the TGF beta receptor is cross talk with the node signaling cascade. And here also we could see HES1 as a downstream target of this cascade. So that is something very interesting. And we also know that the effect of snail one in the breathing will really lead the cancers like the pancreatic cancer. And here in the case of the prostate cancer, we could see that there is a high overexpression of both SUMO1 and the snail one with our, from our histological data. Yes, that's true. So, so that looks to be a, a clinical um, a marker, marker that, that could be useful in, in future studies. So the, the most challenging thing for us was to find the downstream targets of this pathway. That was something, you know, the snail is one of the key points in the EMD pathway and to find the downstream targets was the challenging, but we were very happy to find the effect of HES1 in the signaling cascade. And uh, with the use of the snail one knockout maps, we could find the TGF beta, the role of TGF beta receptor and the, how the snail one regulating the receptor. That was a good tool for us to use. And finally, 
to validate the downstream targets. Yes, and, and I also like to add that, that it looks like some of the target genes are regulated by the TDP type 1 receptor kinase activity, but not all of them. Like yes. um, male yes. itself doesn't look to be regulated by the TDP type 1 receptor kinase activity. That maybe could also be important for future clinical yeah, investigations because maybe we could target some of the downstream targets by by an inhibition using the TDP type 1 receptor kinase in all of them. And as Reshma points out, also this um, exciting finding that, that uh, C. John is taking part in the regulation of TDP type 1 receptor expression, I think is also very exciting. Yes. As it would maybe mean that, that uh, as a response to, to stress, for instance, the TDP type 1 receptor could be upregulated. And that we have not known before. So this is a totally novel finding. OncoTarget was launched in 2010 as a traditional peer-reviewed journal with free access that focused primarily on cancer research. Currently, OncoTarget is a multidisciplinary journal which publishes in weekly issues and is covering topics beyond oncology in fields such as neuroscience, immunology, pathology, and more. You can click on the link in the description below to order a reprint or read the manuscript that was discussed in this interview on OncoTarget.com. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you.